All right. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Car News. Today's episode is right the brand new 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. They just released, um, they just released the press kit for it, and uh, it looks pretty cool. Looks like a bigger version of the, of the road to the smaller version of the road. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool, so let's get into it. CVT, so CVT haters rejoice. No CVT in this one. Already, just gonna read it a little bit more. It's gonna have four wheel drive with seven position drive and terrain selector mode. That's cool. It's gonna increase the maximum towing capacity to 6,000 pounds. So you'll be able to pull boats, ATVs, and trailers. It's gonna have seating for eight with new captain chair upgrades. Have easy flex, one touch reduce, has comfort, flexibility for the family, and a new way to extend the display, the display, the display, the display, the dashboard, the profile of the system, and the standard safety for safety features of the Nissan. Alright, let's get into the specs here. It's going to have a three row, seven and eight passengers uh, for the seven, and two, two, three, for the eight passengers. Front wheel drive or intelligent four wheel drive with seven again seven position drive and terrain selectors. We'll look into that momentarily. We have a 3.5 liter direct injection V8 with idle start and stop. Maximum horsepower of 284. Uh, torque 259 pound feet of torque. Transmission says here uh, nine speed automatic with manual paddle shift transmission. Again, towing capacity is going to be, the standard is 3,500 pounds, um, but it has an available 6,000 pounds towing capacity. Tow hitch with harness, 6,000 pounds. Standard on the Platinum, available for SV and SL packages. Trailer sway control is going to be standard all across the board. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Wheel size, 20, 18 or 20 inches. I'm assuming it's going to depend on which trim you go for. It's going to be the tire size is either going to be two, 255s, 60R 18s, or 255s, 50R 20s. All right. Available exterior features. All new design with modern aggressive styling and rugged, robust experience, appearance. Full C-shape LEDs, headlights, and standard LED signature daytime running lamps. Impressive LED tail lights, large Pathfinder liftgate logo, front and front and rear door intelligent as key and activation, panoramic sunroof, and motion activated um, liftgate with position memory. Available interior features is going to be a standard second row bench for eight passenger capacity. Available captain's chair with removable center console. So kind of like the, I think it's the Acura MDX has that removable center seat in the second row. So if you want. You can either have the two seats or the three seats. Standard easy flex, one touch release. Second row with push to, uh, push activation. Uh, standard tri zone automatic temperature control with second row climate control. 60 40 third row split seats. Semi aniline leather appointed seats with quilting, climate control, cl front seats, and heated rear seats. Available interior for the screens. Like I said, it's going to have a 12 inch. 12.3 inch digital dashboard standard will be seven inches uh, on the platinum it's going to have a 10.8 inch heads up display and it's going to have i'm assuming top top tier is going to be this nine inch color display with multi-touch control standard will be eight inches um it's also going to have nissan connect with just going to have apple carplay and android auto with wireless apple carplay but not android auto wireless charging pad for your phone wi-fi spot xm radio bose premium sound system with 13 speakers and intelligent around view monitor nissan door-to-door -door connection so the pro pilot assist with attention cruise control is only going to be for the sv and up pro pilot assist with navilink is going to be sl and up 
And then you got your standard features. You're gonna have the 360 emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, high beam assist, and rear automatic braking. Class exclusive, intelligent forward collision warning, 10 airbags, intelligent driver alertness, and rear, rear door alert. Available safety features are gonna be blind spot intervention, intelligent lane change, intelligent lane intervention, front central, mounted supplemented airbag and traffic sign recognition cargo volume is as follows 16.6 cubic cubic feet of room in the behind upright third seat 45 cubic inches of room of room is going to be behind the second row upright with the folded um with the folded third row and with everything folded 80.5 cargo room um no word on the on the fuel rating and like I said, it's gonna have four trims, which is very base, very Nissan now. It's gonna be the S, which is gonna be your standard SV next, SL, and as your mid row, as your mid tier, and platinum for the top of the line trim. So just judging from the photos, it looks cool. It just looks like a baby Armada to me. So um, the front, I'm not really digging, but I mean, it's cool, I guess. Um, not really digging the front back looks cool i don't know i'm not really digging the headlights i don't know i just i'm not really digging the whole front of this car but you know check it out for yourself i wish in the rear they kept this back spot just all led that would have been cool a lot of the you got different color for the bumper wheels i mean the tail lights look cool because they're kind of like nav like land rover tail lights so it's cool the inside looks nice. I like the inside. Got so almost a flat bottom steering wheel there. Panoramic sunroof. Gotta love it. Seats are nice. I, the ones I had in the Rogue were pretty sick, so I like the seats. I hope the the screen in the front, the infotainment screen, isn't gonna be all cheap feeling like like it did in one of the cars I drove. Um, but it doesn't look like it looks like they did a completely different design for for that. So I think it's gonna be fine. But all in all, that's that's pretty much everything we need to know about the Armada. I mean the Pathfinder. So again, all this is in the link in the description below. It's come from USA.NissanNews.com. Um, if you like the video, give it a like and a, give me a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, help me grow, and bring you more content. Right now, I'm just busting out a lot of these car news videos because that's all I have right now. Um, this weekend, we do we have more we have more car videos coming soon. Um, but until then, for now, this is what I have, this content that I have for you guys today. So, again, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Miguel Car Reviews. Check out my blog, MiguelCarReviews.com. If you have a car you want us to feature on the, on the channel, um, hit me up, info at MiguelCarReviews.com. Thank you again for watching. Till the next one, peace.